so the other day we went back to Sahawi because we didn't send the first time, so we thought we should probably go back and see if we can finish stuff off. Um, so we weren't actually going to make a video, which is why we're recording this here at home. <laughs> um, but we did record some stuff and we thought we would make one. Tell us about your client. So I've been trying to do Strange Little Girl, which is a 6D. And um, yeah, I pretty much went there thinking that I wouldn't send it because I've just been getting so pumped out on it, I can't get to the top, even though I've always sort of got through the cruxes. But um, so I just went up seconding, thinking I'd do endurance training on it. And then I worked out some much better beta for the sequences outside of the crux. So I was just able to climb it a lot more efficiently and quickly. And yeah, I felt like I climbed it much better than I did from the video last time. So, so yeah, see what you think. So how about you? How was your climb? Uh, so my route was King Ada, which is a 7B. Um, the way it goes is you just climb a like 6C plus route to this massive low percentage v5 move um, the route just basically came down to doing that move or doing it from the bottom uh, so I just had to basically dial in the move and figure out exactly how much I needed to go up what I needed to aim for and then if I could do that then I could definitely do the route but yeah it's a good day so enjoy the video okay so this is my first red point proper red point of the day uh, we sped it up because you're going to see the whole thing in normal speed in a minute So this route is basically about getting through the first bit without getting too tired and just being able to do the big move in a second. So it's from here. I've got a really good right hand and then a really bad left hand. I sort my feet and then just kind of go for it. Um, but this time I hit a bit left of where I need to be and so I get a nice soft catch from Cat. <laughs> uh, so this was my first red point. Um, this is the, the beginning is the first crux really, and then there's another crux a little bit further up. I felt really good before climbing this time, um, and thought I was going to send it to be honest. I kind of worked out all the moves. But, um, I think it's about this point. My knee pad has been slipping off the whole time, <laughs> and getting in the way of the holes and the rope, and generally making me very angry. So, I have a bit of a hissy fit. <laughs> yeah, and they like, throw the knee pad down. It was not the best attempt of the, uh, of the day. There we go. I catch it, though. You do catch it. Well done. I don't know if that counts for anything. <laughs> uh, okay, so here's my last red point. Well, send of this. Um, right off the bat, it's pretty dynamic and tough. <laughs> uh, this time I actually clip the first one and then very nearly fall off. But yeah, I don't I fall off. <laughs> I thought you were going to fall. Well, I really nearly did. I don't know why. I can't remember why. I was just off balance, I guess. Um, then I just kind of gather myself and click the next thing after forgetting to put my foot on the hold. And then I do, and then it's fine. And then I do this bit a bit different for some reason. Uh, I put my left foot quite high before getting this next hold, which puts me a bit off balance, but then Having both feet in those places makes the next move really nice. It's basically just climbing between a sequence of crimps, both good and bad, mostly good, uh, until you get to the next kind of break, which is there. I used to try and use this as a shakeout, but I realised that's a really bad idea because they're not actually good holds at all. It just looks like it should be a shakeout. Mm -hmm. um, and then this little intricate sequence here into the into the big move is actually quite tough. Um, but I worked out the most efficient way of doing it and then getting the feet in the right place to have a quick shake out and chalk up before going, before taking the really small hold and then going for the move. So by this point I'd realized that I need to keep pulling up as far as I can and aim for a very specific spot on the rock. I finally did the move and I got really Nervous and shaky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, mostly because I know I have to put my left foot on that really bad hold, which is still fine for a foothold. It's just, it's just a bit of a mental thing, knowing how small it is from putting my fingers on it and then having to stand on it. But it's only small for the fingers, really. Uh, and then this bit's really quite easy. Just a little bit tense because I know it's... <laughs> yeah. Gonna go. <laughs> that was the furthest you'd got, so I think you were just a bit nervous. 
Yeah, I mean, if but as soon as you do that move, it's pretty much done. Yeah, you've got it. Yeah. Nice. I did it, and I was quite happy. <laughs> Celebrating. <laughs> it was my first 7B, <laughs> so it was quite nice. Okay, so this is the first crux, which is just very strenuous on like a really tiny foothold on your right, but then you move on past it. I was a bit unsure about my footwork here. I tried it a couple of times before and got really frustrated. So I'm just moving them around and adjusting them quite a lot, which does um it does waste energy. But once I get up to the massive side pull in just a second, there we go, then you can kind of relax a little bit and reset. So I'm just clipping. And now really the next crux begins. Before I had to do this quite dynamically and I figured out a much better static way of doing it, which is actually really enjoyable. It's basically your legs really high. And then I can just reach up to that crimp. Yeah, again, foot quite high and just roll over. It's quite nice. This bit really is just quite balancey. Uh, this was the clipping position that I worked out on the last go as well. It looks a bit uncomfortable, but the drop knee allows you to really be quite stable. And then again, I worked out new foot positions for this bit, which just makes it a bit less strenuous, because you can bridge and not be as so much on your arms. From here on, really, it's just about trying not to get too pumped and just to keep going. There's also a bit of loose rock around there, which is frustrating because you really want to grab <laughs> the uh, handholds, but we put crosses on them so that you know not to. So this was the furthest point I had gotten to before. I always took here because I was just too, too tired to keep going. But I managed to get myself up into the knee bar, which it does help. It's not miraculous, but it does make a difference. It allows you to take some of your weight off. It definitely makes a big difference. <laughs> Mike's laughing because I refuse to accept that this was important. But it helps a bit, but if you if you climb the first bit badly, it's not enough. So you have to climb it efficiently and use that rest. That hand hollow one is really good. But I don't really rest for that long, to be honest. I just want to get it done. <laughs> so here it's not it's not massively technical. I'm just going for fairly solid holes, but they're a bit slopey. So you've still just got to be quite on it. Really, you just need to move quickly through it. I actually hesitate a bit. I think it would have been easier just to just to do it, but. I was tired. <laughs> I hate this handhold that I'm going for, that I'm now trying to avoid going for. It's horrible. It's just like a slopey, dusty ledge. But you just need to hold it and push through, and then the next ones are not that bad. There we go. Now you're basically on jugs. And that's the finishing jug. Awesome. Good send. Good day. <laughs> awesome. Uh, so we're going to leave you with some silly cleaning shenanigans from our friends. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god!
god. Oh no! Yeah. <laughs>